The journey through the Panama Canal is expensive. Large container ships and tankers pay up to 1 million US dollars. And this year they've had to carry less cargo in order to reduce their draft because the water level has been so low. The Canal Authority says climate change is to blame for higher temperatures and a lack of rainfall. The canal passes through Lake Gatun and is fed by rivers with sources in the rainforest. We had a very dry 2019, so in February the fresh water rate was established. That's a fixed 10 percent of the amount of the toll and a variable depending on the elevation of the lake. Every time a ship passes through the canal, 200 million liters of fresh water are poured into the locks. Some of it is recaptured in basins, but most flows into the sea. The freshwater surcharge was introduced to finance the development of new water sources. The rivers and lakes that feed the canal also provide drinking water for millions of people. Securing the supply depends on the conservation of the rainforests, but a lot of trees continue to be felled. We are headed to Finca Cuango. The land was covered in trees until it was turned into a cattle ranch. A German company, One Two Tree, that invests in regenerative agriculture projects, has now bought the finca and is busy replanting the forest. The estate will focus on the production of cocoa and native hardwoods. Saplings are being planted on the grassland where cattle used to graze. Around 100 people have found work at Kuango, in a region where unemployment is high. Because of the pandemic, many people lost their jobs in the city and had to go to the countryside. I was one of them, always learning something new. On a third of the estate, 500 hectares, cocoa will be grown. The project also wants to promote social progress. In the villages around here, a lot of people are unemployed, and that especially affects us women. We have as good as no job opportunities because we're women. There isn't much awareness of the issue of equal opportunities. For now, what one sees are lots of banana trees. The cocoa bushes are still young and small, they grow best in the shade of banana palms. Some are already bearing fruit. The banana plants enhance the soil with a large amount of organic matter. And the cocoa bushes are expert at absorbing this organic matter and using it to grow. For shade cultivation, we also use pigeon pea bushes and forest trees, right now mainly almond trees. We're planting around 80 trees per hectare. The banana plants provide shade and, for the time being, until more cocoa has grown, are the main source of income for the farm. When the coronavirus pandemic hit, the government bought up almost the entire harvest of cooking bananas across the country in order to ensure the supply. They are a staple food here. A strict lockdown meant weekly markets had to close. 700 hectares of the finca are covered in rainforest set aside for nature conservation. Howler monkeys, insects and amphibians live here undisturbed. Deeper in the forest, there are also pumas, anteaters, and ocelots. This nature reserve covers almost half of the estate and will be left untouched. Coango is an integrated agroforestry project with three main components, the natural rainforest, crop farming, and a tree farm that will provide timber to carpenters in Panama. The trees in the commercial forest are registered and can only be felled with a permit. This is what sustainable ecological investing can look like. All of this had been turned into pasture for cattle. Nothing else was being grown to offset the loss. We're now implementing a system of agroforestry. The bottom layer is cocoa, then come bananas, followed by pigeon peas. The fourth and final level is made up of cedar trees and, above all, almond trees, which still have to reach maturity. 
The owner of Kuango 1-2 Tree is based in Berlin. It only engages in green investment. It's also a co-founder of a Latin American climate initiative. Petra Kolmansberger, the project manager for Central America, can't travel to her office in Panama because of the pandemic. They video conference with Roderick Bins in Kuango. He says the banana harvest is good. And as to the coronavirus, everyone on the estate is healthy again. They're busy pressing ahead with the reforestation effort. A few years ago, Panama launched the Alliance for One Million initiative, which aims to create a million new hectares of forest over a period of two decades. The fact that things aren't moving so fast is largely due to a lack of capital for investing in new projects like these. At Finca Kuango, they are working to develop sustainable organic farming methods that can adapt to the changing conditions brought about by climate change. It will take not just encouragement, but also major investment to win over smallholder farmers to agroforestry. Changes to the climate are having a huge impact on the canal. It can no longer rely on a supply of water as in previous years. The rains are starting much later in the season. It's crucial to secure the water supply, and that means more reforestation projects. Panama's economy is dependent on the canal. Restoring forests will enhance the ecosystem and yield more fresh water to the benefit of the people and the canal.